Hunter Biden pled guilty on Thursday to a barrage of federal tax crimes. But will the Internal Revenue Service ever plead guilty to stealing the 2020 election for Joe Biden? In 2023, the IRS assessed 18,599,109 penalties on individuals who allegedly failed to pay or underpaid federal income taxes. How did the IRS miss Hunter Biden for so long? Never mind. In 2021, the Biden administration sought to compel banks to report to the IRS any time a bank account had more than $600 of activity per year. But the feds effectively disregarded multi-million dollar windfalls coming in for Hunter Biden. Never mind. Hunter is a tax dodger straight out of IRS central casting. Between 2014 and 2019, he pocketed more than $8 million from shady foreign sources, triggering a bushel of Treasury Department suspicious activity reports. Hunter failed to pay more than $1 million in taxes and was slapped with a tax lien of $112,000 on his 2015 taxes. The IRS even threatened to cancel his passport, but no criminal charges were filed. Never mind. The IRS began formally investigating Hunter in 2018. By January 2020, a team of a dozen IRS employees were working on the case. But the Justice Department failed to file any charges before the statute of limitation expired on Hunter's 2014 and 2015 tax violations. Never mind. IRS investigators vigorously pushed to search part of Joe Biden's Delaware state prior to the 2020 election. On September 3, 2020, Assistant U.S. Attorney Leslie Wolf agreed with Gary Shapley, an IRS supervisory special agent, that there was more than enough probable cause for a physical search warrant and a lot of evidence in our investigation would be found in the guest house of Vice President Biden, where Hunter Biden was staying. But Wolf declared that optics were a driving factor in the decision not to execute a search warrant, according to Shapley. Like the optics that Team Biden unleashed when they sent a heavily armed FBI team to raid Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Florida in order to choreograph government documents for photographers. The FBI recently admitted that the documents they seized that night were arranged specifically for a PR shot. IRS investigators were kept out of an October 2020 Justice Department briefing on an alleged criminal bribery scheme on Joe Biden and his family. This severely limited the potential political damage to the presidential candidate at that time. A female FBI supervisor stated in a congressional interview last year that the Justice Department used the 2022 midterm election as a pretext to delay further action on Hunter Biden's tax case. The IRS's Shapley filed a whistleblower complaint in April last year asserting that the Hunter Biden tax investigation was being blocked because of politics. A second key IRS agent also filed a whistleblower complaint. Never mind. Well, actually, the Biden administration finally took action. What they did, the Justice Department fired the entire team of IRS investigators who were looking into Hunter Biden's abuses. It was like the Biden administration wanted to preserve the presumption of innocence by getting rid of anyone who knew the evidence. The House Ways and Means Committee reported last year that IRS investigators were met with a delay, divulge, and deny campaign that shielded Hunter Biden by letting the statute of limitations expire for times when Joe Biden was vice president. Attorneys for Hunter Biden were tipped off ahead of time about searches allowing them to hide or destroy evidence. Last July 2023, the Justice Department sought to close the entire case with a wrist slap plea for a couple tax misdemeanors. But federal judge Mary Ellen Dorica, did she smell a rat? She asked a few questions in federal court and the plea deal fell apart and Hunter had to go to trial on this. Other details have come out about how the Justice Department and maybe the Biden White House put a leash on this special counsel investigating Hunter Biden's tax crimes. But that didn't stop President Biden from scoffing at reporters who asked about the bribery and kickback allegations. Where's the money? 
Well, IRS investigators were allowed to find it. Biden won the 2020 election by a margin of only 43,000 votes in three key swing states. Biden won because far more Americans considered him honest and trustworthy than Donald Trump. But Biden's honesty was always a mirage created by craven media and federal cover-ups. Biden campaigning as Mr. Clean was as absurd as Bill Clinton campaigning as a chastity kid or Donald Trump campaigning as Mr. Modesty. In the final 2020 debate with Trump before the election, Joe Biden proclaimed that my son does not made any money from China. But while he was vice president, Biden took Hunter with him on Air Force Two to Beijing to help his boy snare sweetheart deals. But the media let that go by. It was so brazen, it almost made me cynical. Any tax indictment of Hunter or criminal search of Joe Biden's Delaware home prior to the 2020 election would have shattered Biden's moral pretenses. And once his Teflon shield vanished, the New York Post revelation of Hunter's laptop would have done far more damage to Uncle Joe. A federal search of Biden's home before the 2020 election could have had the same impact as the FBI reopening its investigation into Hillary Clinton's email abuses prior to the 2016 election. Hunter's guilty plea may be a subsidy for the Harris presidential campaign. Pleading guilty before the start of the trial got rolling will prevent a deluge of riveting evidence of Biden family corruption and official cover-ups. Instead, Team Biden and the Harris campaign are hoping for a single bad news cycle of PR. A pardon for Hunter Biden is as certain as Joe Biden's next verbal hairball. But will federal agencies have the decency to drop the equal justice hokum and admit that optics beats fair play almost every time? Maybe it's time for the IRS to get an honest motto. We have what it takes to take what you have.